Hi, as you can see here, the calculated attributes are a very important part of the relational database specification. With this kind of attributes, we could have related some kind of entity, some kind of attribute, some kind of field that is not directly stored in the table where this entity is stored, but it could be calculated in runtime based in the values of another attributes. And there are a lot of ways to do that. And the way we are going to see in this video is how to use the case expression to obtain one calculated attribute. Let's see how it works. As you can see here in the official documentation from the case statement, its, it's syntax is here. We have one certain value and then we perform some kind of expression, some comparison expressions that we evaluated. If this expression is true, then we are going to have one certain value to be presented. In case another condition is true, we then will present another value for the same attribute. So it's possible to have the attribute value varying according to some kind of expressions that are going to be calculated, are going to be processed in runtime when your carry, when your SQL select instruction run. So let's see one example of how to apply this case statement in one real example. As you can see here, we have a table that has a lot of columns that is stored together with its records. And then we could present all attributes this table contains or just a subset when we filter the columns that's going to be presented is the case of the second example here. Okay, but now let's suppose that among these attributes we are going to be displayed, we would like to classify this rental rate, rate in categories according with some kind of intervals we have. And then for this purpose, we can come here and add one special instruction that is the case. We create then the case statement and we use that as one normal column, one normal attribute of the table. But instead of just use the column name, we use the whole case statement. And then here we are going to perform a several comparisons and then we create one value that was not originally stored in the table, but it's going to be presented together with the result set. So we are going to create here one new column named rental level that's going to be included in this return here. We can execute that. And then now we have one new column that does not exist before. It's very useful and it can be utilized with views. So the user of your database will not know if this table is real, physically stored with the table data or calculated in runtime. So that's the goal of this video. Hope you have enjoyed that, that and see you next time.